Man United verdict. Jadon Sancho finally made it onto the Etihad turf, but was upstaged by pal Phil Foden in derby drubbing. Jadon Sancho has waited a long time to play at the Etihad. It was quite the entrance with his dazzling first half equalizer, but in the end he was upstaged by his old mate Phil Foden. Wasn't it ever thus? The three Lions pair are just a couple of months apart in age, but it was always Foden making the headlines when they were teammates. Sancho spent almost three years coming through the ranks at City, but never made the first team much to his frustration. A couple of FA Youth Cup finals he appeared in were held at the Academy Stadium over the road. Meanwhile he was injured when his former club Borussia Dortmund were paired with City in last season's Champions League quarter-final. So finally on Sunday he got his opportunity and this was some way to make the most of it. Midway through an enthralling first half he collected a pass from Paul Pogba out on the left and cut and passed his three Lions teammates Kyle Walker and John Stones. Free bets. Get over £2,000 in new customer deals he still had plenty to do, but curled a lovely shot from the edge of the box, beyond the outstretched hand of Ederson. Sancho celebrated with a shrug of the shoulders, as if to say to Pep Guardiola see, I told you I was good, it was the city boss who sanctioned the sale of Sancho to Dortmund in August 2017, when he stalled over a new contract. The staff at the City Football Academy had concerns about his attitude, while Sancho felt frustrated as he could not see a pathway to the first team. So he left for a fee of around £10 million and returned to the North West for £73 million after four excellent years in Germany. City got a cut of the proceeds, but must have wondered many times since he left what they had missed out on. On Sunday they got a little glimpse of his talent with his superb equaliser. It has taken a while for him to find his feet at Old Trafford. Signing Cristiano Ronaldo just a few weeks after his arrival took some of the limelight off him and meant chances to shine were not guaranteed. Even so, he managed only one goal in his first 16 Prem matches. Since Ralph Rangnick was appointed as interim boss in December, Sancho has finally started to show English fans what all the fuss was about. The German tried to take him to RB Leipzig when he was leaving City and seems to have got a little more out of him. Would he have started if Ronaldo had not suffered a hip injury a couple of days before this game? It's possible he wouldn't have. Yet briefly he threatened to take center stage in a way the Portuguese veteran would be proud of. His super strike here means he has been directly involved in four goals his last five Prem appearances. Sancho's goal did not keep his team level for long though as Foden's took the limelight off him. His delightful flick over the head of Harry Maguire created a second goal for Kevin De Bruyne. And Sancho blazed a chance to pull his team level again high over the bar before halftime after some neat work from Bruno Fernandes. City pulled away in the second half. They are hunting a treble with his old mate Foden, very much at the heart of it. Sancho had a moment to remember, but left wondering what might have been if he had shown a bit of patience and stayed in the blue corner. One half read our football news live blog for breaking news, transfer gossip and must-read stories.